In today's video, I've got five facts about Felix Argyle from the series ReZero slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Felix's bio, ability in the anime, his voice actors, backstory, and more. Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And for more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Felix, commonly known as Ferris, is one of the side characters of the ReZero series and is the knight of Krush Karsten. Felix made his debut in episode 12 of the anime and chapter 4 of the manga. His birthday is on the 16th of January, which makes him a Capricorn and is 19 years of age. He is a male beast human who stands at 5 foot 8, which is 172.72 centimeters. Felix has short brown hair with blue and white bows on either side that were a gift from Krush and has has bright yellowish hazel eyes. Now, there are two things that really stand out about Felix, and one is the obvious cat-like features, including the ears, tail, and mannerisms. He has these because of his demi-human blood that comes from his ancestors. The second is, of course, that Felix is highly known as one of the main traps in all of anime. This is mainly seen in his mannerisms, focal tone, and, of course, dress sense. So, attire-wise, Felix wears a blue dress with black tights and blue leggings, black shoes, white arm covers, and a blue scarf that is tied around his right arm. Personality-wise, Felix has the rather cute trait of talking and referring to themselves in the third person. He often refers to himself as Ferris Chan and uses female pronouns dependent on the situation. Felix has a very playful side and enjoys teasing others, and hidden behind this side of him is a person that has a very serious view on death. As a healer, he tends to show a cold shoulder towards those who have lost the will to live. But above all, he hates people who are weak. This is because of his complex. This hate of weaklings meant that he obviously harbored hate for Subaru in the beginning, but soon let go of these feelings towards him after the battle with the white whale. Now, on the complete flip side of hate, Felix is absolutely loyal to Krush and will do anything for her, though if he needs to, he will oppose her. His feelings for her can be a bit too much, as Felix can get too emotional when it comes to her. Felix's Japanese voice actor is Hori Yui. She has voiced other characters such as Wiz in Konosuba, Anne from Food Wars, La Brava in My Hero Academia, Minori Kushieda from Toradora, and more. Felix's English voice actor is Sarah Ann Williams. She has voiced other characters such as Saya Kamiki in Madoka Magica, Lizbeth from Sword Art Online, Berserker of Black in Fate Apocrypha, Suzumaru from Demon Slayer, and more. In terms of abilities, Felix has the divine protection of water, meaning he is highly skilled at water magic. Not only this, but with the combination of his bloodline, Felix is exceptionally powerful and talented when it comes to this element, and of course, it's magic. Felix is considered as the best water mana user in the kingdom and has earned the alias of Blue. Felix is actually the youngest to have ever been given this title. Obviously, as we know, Felix's expertise is in healing. Summoning water mana, Felix can heal the wounds of not only himself, but physical others too. Now, because like I mentioned earlier, Felix's body differs from that of any normal human or demi-human, in regards to the connection with water mana, one of the effects of this is that Felix has rapid cellular regeneration. With this, Felix can recover from any fatal wound that does not outright kill him. However, in exchange, his ability to fight is weakened. Which, you know, kind of doesn't matter, because in terms of weapons, Felix does own a short sword that he received from Krush. However, Felix doesn't like to damage his own skin, so he usually tends to refuse to use it to fight, and prefers to remain on the back line as a healer. 
Next up, we're going to look into Felix's backstory. Okay, so Felix has his cat-like features from birth. This is because of his ancestors having demi-human blood. His parents, however, did not have any of these features and did mistreat him as they had suspected an affair had taken place. For the first nine years of his life, he wasn't cared for and locked in the basement of the Argyle mansion, until one day he was found as a painfully thin, fragile boy by none other than Krush and was taken in by her at the Karsten mansion and made her attendant. Through the years that followed, Felix developed devotion and a strong sense of loyalty to her, which you would imagine after she saved him from the hell that he was living in. This new upbringing was, you know, what formed his new identity. Wanting to be of better use to Cruz, he had a probation period in the Royal Guard. At first, he wasn't comfortable in this surrounding and stood out because of his demi-human features. Now, it was here that he met both Reinhardt and Julius, and thus Felix gained his own confidence and sense of his own abilities. But thanks for watching this my video, 5 Facts About Felix from the series ReZero. Let me know in the comments who you would like to see next. Of course, I want to give a huge shout out to Warwick, Animator22, and Akumu for supporting me on Patreon. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Come hang out with me on Discord and Twitch during the weekdays. Links are in the description. And subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.